Hello everyone and welcome to another G-Shock unboxing another V video. Today we're gonna have a look at this model again. I already unboxed this very model on the channel on my previous video, so let's keep that part all together. Snap here is the watch and snap and this is the Master of G Master in Desert Watch Mod Master G-Shock. That is how the watch looks like if you get your G-Shock all the way from Japan it's since the one that I have right now is a JDM model JDM stands for Japan Domestic Market Release Model and they are indeed really special and different compared when you get your G-Shock that is non-JDM version So what's up about this Mod Master model? Why this guy even needed to exist anyway? Since Gaston G-Shock already released the GW9400 arrangement on the market a triple sensor one of the best triple sensor anyway and then they decided to release this and they just named it Mod Master in my opinion this watch is really incomparable to the arrangement at all this watch was made to improve the mod band family a mod resist structure g-shock watch a mod resist structure that is better than the previous mod band model at the same time has a better function as triple sensor instead of twin sensor like thermometer and compass this watch still have an easy usability for the buttons which is interesting you got more and at the same time better so why not and the only downside that i could see about this release is that the price is three times higher than getting the gw9200 or the twin sensor modman since this model is super expensive and it is also a triple sensor model a lot of people are always uh, comparing this mod master to arrangement me personally also made a video about that as well comparing arrangement to the mod master so you can check the video out if you want to learn more of how they differ but after a few weeks ago, Kiasu G-Shock decided to release the new GPS arrangement and hence making the arrangement has its own competitors, arrangement has its own families. It is not wise for us to compare this to the arrangement anymore. Arrangement has its own better brother that you should compare to and that's the GPS arrangement model that's this guy over here, which in a way was inspired by the Smart Master as well. Look at how similar they are. Remember the first day Castle G-Shock decided to release this in Japan. First time I look at it in store, I was like disgusted by it. I'm not sure why because it is too big or it's too rugged, it's too uncommon at that time. But today, this watch is the most popular G-Shock watch on the market. It's very sought after most of the time, especially when it came with this limited edition design like this. Man, it's just very very nice. I mean, look at this. Match with my shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's very very cool. Anyway, guys, I'm very certain the Council G Shop made this so that they could issue this to the uh, security forces in Japan, to the armies, to the uh, firefighters, and all those. Just look at the uh, marketing or the promotional video. They actually market this watch for those type of people, for those type of environments. If this watch could withstand all that this watch could definitely withstand to our daily life needs and that is one of the reasons why i like this watch so much as well i love how built i love the build i love how tough it looks i love the military taste on it the military rugged appearance on this it's so cool especially when we're talking about this master of g master in desert camouflage model it comes with this uh, light brown sand color basically beach color mixed with brown and beach colorway very very cool in my opinion very fashionable even castle g-shock made this for those type of environments or people who are exposed to this type of environment but the pattern on this watch man is very fashionable in my opinion if i'm not mistaken this type of camouflage pattern is called the uh coffee stain camo or the chocolate chip camo i mean just it literally looks like that and it is very fashionable and a very rare type of camouflage uh, pattern but you're only gonna see this in a few fashion items out there and one of the fashion brand that make this uh, 
pattern famous is called the Nike Air Force One Special Fields model, which is very, very military like. I wish I had that sticker with me so that I could add in this video and just show you guys how much similar they are. It's just nice for function and just nice for fashion although it's up to you guys if you are uh, really wanting one of these you could grab this if you want something that's low in cost just get yourself the arrangement version instead Kelsey okay, so G-Shock did release this in a Modmaster arrangement version and a Modman version as well sort of like a Modman so this is a Modmaster better version of those two but it's all to you guys this model is really expensive what else are you gonna get aside from the triple sensor function that this model have first of all it's again the button operation which is easy to use and also all these five buttons including this crown has four o-ring built all around them and that's allowed this watch to have this mod resist structure that is much better than any other g-shock that we have on the market right now although every g-shock has a certain amount of mod resistance in them but this one is much better this one is the best one yet and other than that aside from the very incredible rugged feature this watch also have a vibration resist structure and one of the way or two ways actually that allow this watch to have that feature is first of all is the have the uh, alpha gel being placed at the back plate and four on the sides for a second so that when the watch drops to the ground it will absorb most of the impact that's the first the second is that the second hand in here as actually was made out of carbon fiber which allowed this part in particular to have a very light weight and hence when you drop this thing on the ground this second hand would less be affected as compared to when we are using metal or any other material to create the hands over there so in a way that is also a vibration resistant structure and the third one is that this watch have the tough movement feature and that's equates to the watch will automatically set the hours the minutes and also the seconds hand back into place when the sensors that's in there detects and uh, misalignment so in a way if you drop your g-shock to the ground to the floor it might show you guys an inaccurate time keeping a few seconds off or so but if i'm not mistaken at 11:55 at midnight every single day the watch will detect that and also perform that calibration or align the hands back into position and hence you're going to have yourself a very accurate time keeping every single day all right one more interesting feature that this watch has that will allows you to have a accurate time keeping is that this watch have a wave scepter built in it that is multi-band 6 and hence it will automatically adjust the time by its, on its own every single night four times at night time providing the watch receive the signal since this watch have a lot of function it also requires a lot of power, a lot of juice, and hence Castle also include a top solar or solar panel onto the watch face. A usual G-Shock watch or on the lower end side will have a solar panel that looks like this. So this one really obvious, it really looks like a solar panel but that again it takes too much space and you cannot add anything else on top of there aside from just tiny printings like so. In this case, however, just look at that, it looks much more beautiful, it blends in very well with the watch face and also we are able to add the hours, minutes and seconds and on top of the solar panel and now we are able to use the whole watch face more efficiently. You can add more things in there at the same time not disturbing that solar panel as much anyway. Castle actually highlight the main big feature for this model using the orange accents for the barometer function, the temperature function, and the mod master name over there. And all this mode indicator was also highlighted in this ring as well, which is very beautifully made and very detailed as well. So it's very interesting to have a look at this mode altogether at once. Right away, you know what you could use well out of this watch just like at a glance like this. And the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock index, which was was also made to be bigger than the rest of this gray index over there that part over there if i'm not mistaken is phosphorus luminescent index so that's why the color like so the rest is also luminescent will glow in the dark from my experience without proper charging without any form of charging at all it could last you for about three hours straight but with full charging it will could it could last you for about six hours five to six hours straight at night time although it will get faded pretty quickly but it will stay glowing for a long amount of time although if you aren't satisfied with the luminescent you could just press this light button in the front here and then turn on the led light that this model have which is very bright as well but not still not as bright as this scoff master model and that again is just good enough it will close the digital display and also the analog hands entirely so you got that covered 
Alright, one other thing that I need to point out as well. You look at that, they have one of those over 9 six four three right things up there that's actually for barometer uh, mode if you press the button once you will enter the barometer mode so now the second hand will start pointing to this direction either negative or reducing in uh, atmospheric pressure or increment of atmospheric pressure this function actually was highlighted even more on the golf master remember this ring over here this huge ring on the golf master is actually this tiny lines over there on this mod master Look at that. So both of this watch was made for different purpose. So that's why Casio highlighted different function at, and create different model instead. So that's very interesting as well. And two big feature for this mod master is obviously compass and altimeter. Although you could have the barometer and thermometer, but the main big feature for this model is actually compass and altimeter. So that's why you have both of them right away at home time. Press it once, right away you'll enter the altimeter mode. And if you want to use compass, press it once and right away you will have uh, access to 60 seconds compass with azimuths and also bearing reading over there so very very interesting feature press mode will go back to home time and let me just run through all of them real quick we have barometer we have temperature reading we have recall we have a stopwatch we have a countdown timer we have alarm five of them we have roll time as being indicated on this roll time ring around here so this is all the city names which is very nicely placed and makes the watch looks very rugged and very complex as well this will be the receive for the wave scepter function and press the boat button again we'll go back to home time okay don't talking about the watch functions now let's have a look to the front on this black button for the light button which is looking really beautiful blending very well with the watch body the silver buttons on the sides making the watch looks more interesting way more complicated and this is the guard for the sensor that is actually atmospheric sensor built in them just in case you were wondering now let's move down to the watch band as you can see they feature a really interesting texture on the watch band with mud resist printed on top of there are triple sensor multiband 6 and top solar writing as well and everything in here is sort of like brown colorway very nicely done very beautiful and they are pretty detailed as well if you look really close enough and we have this bulging out power at the tip over here for uh, locking the band keeper which is up here we have a band keeper with protection g-shock double alternative ball which is really thick and big as well this part over here feels very very solid with brush finish on top and just if i'm just going patina finish just matte at the sides very cool very military like this is the buckle which is the weakest point of the watch as you guys can see on top here, everything is really tough. Even the watch band was locked with this 2mm lug screw, uh, Allen head type of lug screw, which is very, very solid built. However, this buckle was only locked with a standard spring bar in there, which is tiny and weak. And this is the part that is going to feel first when you got stuck to something or when, you know, at emergency situation with Chaos of Japan sign below so you still have a really high quality build on top of it but I've seen this part fail before all right moving back down just a light tan colorway nothing much going on down here we have some code for the watch band and now let's have a look quick at the back plate before we proceed with the wrist check we have sapphire glass being a uh, stamp on here tough solar and this is the code for the uh, batch number if I'm not mistaken 201c 207f equals to uh, July 2016 make this watch I'm holding in front of you guys right now is one years old so that's very interesting this is the compass button it's being indicated over here LT mode button over here display button over here multi-band 6 feature Casio 5463 module GWG-1000 DC stand for desert camouflage stainless steel back Japan H water resistant to also 20 bar and shock absorbing structure i mean just look at the back plate man it's just really really gorgeous just matte finish on the side and just circular hairline finish oh, just look, look at how it, oh, just gorgeous just gorgeous all right now i'm just gonna put this thing on my wrist and just flex this thing outside well you know what i'm gonna go out
we're back that just took hours to make and end up with two minutes clip only anyway guys here is the watch looks like in front guys just up close look at that look at how watch is fitting on my 15 centimeters come from wrist i just need to wear this hose number two from the top and look at how great the fitting is although it looks very big i do acknowledge that i have a really skinny wrist and the watch is it's, I mean, it's just ridiculously big, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I like the watch. I like G-Shock. I like how it looks. I like the function. I mean, I like the experience of wearing this as well. Like this guy, man. It's just amazing G-Shock watch, man. Let's end it over here. I'll talk even more about this mod master model in the uh, GWG 1000 all black version that I'll be uh, reviewing soon as well. But for now, that's it. I hope you guys found this video useful, informative, and entertaining as well for your future reference. Don't forget to leave a like. Please leave a like. And that's it, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really, really appreciate your support. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. And I'm...